we shall overcome. Well, this is another time, another opportunity of being able to receive from the Holy Ghost. Yes, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, whom Jesus promised that he will send another comforter. Jesus himself comforted his disciples meeting with them several times after his crucifixion, assuring them that the person that was standing before them, primarily the Son of God, raised from the dead, seemingly a spirit who needed no keys, He didn't need to come through a door, but he visited them. Jesus assured them that there was a mandate on their lives, and he gave them a word, a word of destiny. Go ye, saith Jesus, to Peter, James, John, Bartholomew, Matthew, and the others, and later to Paul, the apostle. Go ye, he said, and teach all nations. That meant that they had to have a foundation of truth which he had very definitely laid in their minds and their hearts, in their spirits, and what we call psych. Jesus taught them himself for three and a half years. Some, he even took them on very highly spiritual journeys. Once to the mountain where Moses and Elijah appeared. The three who were in the spirit revealed themselves to those men who were there. God is great. Impartation in many times of being confronted with the power of God is horizontal. Meaning that the visitation comes down. It doesn't emanate from the third heaven but the visitation comes down so that there was horizontal direction of the power of God that saturated them. And also it will saturate us. Oh yes, there are times when the power of God comes down to those who are called as apostles or prophets or evangelists or pastors or teachers. It comes down, yes, as an example of humility. But then there are other times when we have to ascend. We have to climb, we have to praise and pray. We have to worship until we find ourselves climbing 
into Zion and onto Zion, the mountain of the Lord. And in climbing, yes, we break through barriers. And then we make our connection where we are in the presence of God. Come boldly, the scripture says, that we might find grace to help in the time of need. Grace to help in the time of need. There is an impartation of grace. And remembering that we have been given a perpetual, that is a continued source and resource that is the written word of God. God ensured our ability of communication and he raised a man who invented the first instrument of printing the printing press. The first book that was printed on the printing press was the Bible. God is wisdom. God is great. So now here we are, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of days later, maybe thousands of days later, from the time when the first Bible was printed. And now we have the Bible in ink and paper. We have the Bible that has been launched into cyberspace so that we can have it and hold it and pull it up on our cell phones. God is great. There is no excuse. We have the written word of God, the book of books. Yes. The book expresses, the book reveals. So there's no argument. There is a record. Yes, a record has been kept, even concerning Israel, but we will not park there. But now God has a people throughout the earth that is called the church. The church that also contains five categories and types of ministries and ways for the word of God to be conveyed to their fellow man and our fellow man, the apostle, the prophet, the pastor, the evangelist, the teacher, all five are in the earth realm perpetually, continually. And I might add, even after the trumpet sounds and those that are alive when he comes, those that will be caught up, even after that, there will be those in the earth realm that will be endowed with the power of God to preach the gospel to those who remain and particularly to Israel who out of Israel will come evangelists who will preach the word worldwide God is great let me encourage those of you that are the fivefold ministry apostle prophets evangelists pastors and teachers 
let us go on and let us do as the woman commanded her servant let us drive let us drive let us drive and go forward I'm going to pray now. God, in the name of Jesus, I send your word. I lose your power with your word. I decree and endow with the more through your word. In the name of Jesus, that the power of the word may pierce as it goes out of our mouths. That if we accomplish that for which you would send it. In the name of Jesus. God, and we give you the glory for your recompense. For your blessing. And we'll praise you. Let the word heal. Let the word save. Let the word deliver. Let the word set free. We break yokes in the name of Jesus to destroy the yokes. We thank you that the word of God is the sword of the spirit. We thank you for the victories that will be wrought through the word. And we give you the glory in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you, beloved. Invite you to come back on tomorrow now. Yes, and receive a word. Bless you. This has been Apostle Jean Morris. We shall overcome.